Good morning, YouTube fam. Well, today's the day. Today's the day that we finally get started on. Let me turn it around for you. This project. Three months of putting off because of holidays, birthdays, and stuff. So today's the day. Today, I'm going to start with putting on the outside awning. It's going to be a task. Got my son coming by later. But just to show you a little bit of update. So here's all the stuff that's inside the trailer, but I took down the inside walls already. We're gonna prepare that. We're gonna block the inside of the walls so to put some structure in there so the uh, awning has something to grab onto. So I'm gonna take care of that now. The sun's gonna be showing up. You have to put on the, the little drip rail and all that stuff outside. So hopefully this will be a success. If not, you get to see my failure. So day one of starting on the trailer. Let's see how this goes. So I decided to buy the Rec Pro awning straight from them. It's uh, come over here, about a 14 foot awning. It's a power awning. Came with the two arms, motor, switch, all the screws. And I have the directions somewhere. The tube, I'm gonna have to put together the fabrics over there and the drip rail measuring the drip rail right now so I can center it about there in the black look all nice uh, I don't know in instructions are pretty not detailed give you a couple measurements and like you're on your own so day one of the big trailer upgrade let's see how bad I screw this up okay update so so far long day so far not easy when you've been doing it solo. So, back up, sorry about that. I'll show you what I have. Right now I have the two arms mounted on both sides. And I also have the, the fabric runner. That's where the fabric ties in up top here. And I got the Rec Pro one which has the channel for the light. I guess I'll have to buy the LED light now. So, that's where we're at. So all this work, let me show you how, what takes so long, all this work. Obviously I started removing the walls and then remember that's just a sheet metal skin. So the arms have nothing to mount to. So I had a block where the arms were gonna mount to. Okay, let me see on the front of the trailer over here too. I'm so sorry guys, I'm not the best at this YouTube stuff, but I'm trying. So what we have is, you can see this one blocked up there. That's for the front arm and on the bottom and on the back, I just did some pocket hole screws and screwed it right to the metal. A lot of people have been talking about how they put metal and make it even stronger, but I don't know. This, this is pretty thin metal anyway. I, <laughs> this wood's probably stronger than this metal. So, and then what for that, the channel up top for the fabric channel, the, the way it hangs, there was nothing for it to mount. So I had to put all those little furring strip all the way down so those screws could bite on something. And since I was one-handed, <laughs> nice little Gorilla tape, that's what helped me out so far. So we got the inside done. Now we're moving to the hardest part where I will have to call somebody, maybe my neighbor. But now I'm gonna put the middle tube together that's what it'll, it'll roll out and put the fabric on the tube and attach it to there. And the only other thing, it is a power awning, but I'll probably play with the power tomorrow. It's been a long, tedious day, especially by myself, up and down, up and down, back and forth so many times. So like I said, project one, keep going. And there it is, voila. 14 feet of awning finally on so I gotta trim the little edges off of here put it on and I still got to uh, I gotta connect the power to it so I put it out manually that's so you can see I put that sucker up all by myself stupid aluminum tube arms I got the track with the LED lighting I gotta I gotta put in the the LED lid in the track now, but very simple. 
wasn't as difficult as I thought. It was more harder blocking the inside for those support arms to give it the support so it doesn't just fall. Like I said, this is my, my manual stick and here's the power. We still gotta hook it up. <clears throat> but I'd call that a success considering everything. Oh, hey, what's up, birdie? Considering everything I went through to put it on and I put it on by myself. This is not a one man job. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. So I just keep going today. Today we're gonna cut some more holes and see what happens. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's just nice. Now it's starting to look like a real camper instead of a, like my sister called it, a uh, landscaping trailer. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, all right, so we got another update on the trailer. I put a hole in it. I wanted windows, so I cut my whole window out. I bought these windows for RepPro. So what I did was I cut the spacer from my wall. My walls are one inch thick. So this is half inch, I'm gonna cut another one, double it up, make it one inch. That's how you get your one inch instead of trying to buy when it's thick wood, nearly impossible. Let's get yourself some half inch plywood, double it up, you're good to go. I cut a template for my window, made sure it fit perfectly, nice and snug. Went over back to the trailer, drew out the, the hole, cut out the template. Uh, very easy to do. So what it looks like inside is Nice big hole. So, so my wood framing is gonna come here to here. We're gonna secure it to the walls, and then we'll secure it to here with some angle iron. That thing will not go anywhere, It'll probably be stronger than what this is. This stuff cuts like butter. And if you don't believe me, this is what I cut it with. Multi-purpose tool. Zzzt. Cuts right through it, no big thing. Here it is. Here's a piece that I cut out. This is very thin stuff. So I think the glue was getting hard, was harder than uh, cutting it. So that's where we're at now. I'm running out of daylight, so I got to make my other half inch trim ring, put it on there, screw it together, put it in the hole, put my butyl tape on the window, seal it and done for the day so here's the end result to my weekend one awning put on window put in i only put in the one window today uh, i did put in the electrical plug up on the bottom too i'll put in the window the other window next weekend uh figuring that out was harder than i thought it's not as easy as people think you just cut a hole and put it in uh, you got to put the support inside. That's the only problem with these trailers. They're built stronger than a camper trailer, but figuring out the support and how to lock down the window. And then it's kind of temporary because I got to put my walls back up because I got to insulate now. So this coming weekend, I'm going to put in, going to do my electrical runs because my electrical power is going to be over here. So I have my wires hanging. I'm going to put in my outlets over here and insulate the side so I can close the side and I'll start working on the left side. Getting to it, plus I gotta put in the, the, the roof vent. That'll be a lot easier because that won't be as hard as that. Uh, for some reason, those damn, those windows, that trim ring is not symmetrical. I measured that thing 20 times and it's pretty much off. I couldn't believe it, but it is. Uh, so you kinda just gotta Draw with a line and cut to the line. Don't try to measure it because <laughs> you'll be frustrated. Uh, other than that, it's coming along. I mean, been sitting so long before I started work on it, but now now that I got to work on it, now should be a lot of progress. Uh, thank you for staying with me.